What's up you guys so today I'm just gonna take you along with me for my day I don't want because I don't want YouTube to become something that I drop when I get super busy um, and this week is really busy and I'm also feeling kind of overwhelmed because I got a diagnosis last week and I've been having a hard time kind of wrapping my mind around it and I don't think I'm quite ready to talk about it yet but hopefully by the next video I will be so today we're just gonna do shipping right now and then I'm gonna walk this little one. Nico is helping me as always, which I will miss when he goes back to school. And yeah, then I'm gonna do a workout, a home workout. And then after that, I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm gonna paint on denim, which I'm excited about. I haven't tried that before. And I'll put a link in the description of the artist that I discovered on YouTube that I kind of got this idea from. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out and maybe I can make like some custom hand painted patches to add on clothes and stuff. So yeah. Right here, I'm helping out right here. I'm helping out record the spanning part of the video. Bella, are you ready to go for a walk? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. So my husband thinks it's a waste of time that I like drive to a park and walk these two, but there's something about it I can't explain. Like, especially if you're like me and you're prone to depression, you can hear the, probably, you can probably hear the lawnmower over there. But it just, even if I'm out here for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, there's something that it does that just kind of like lifts up my mood and just, that I can't get that when I would just walk on the treadmill at home. But yeah, let me show you Nico. He just comes to life when he's out here. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of fresh cut grass. That and gasoline, my two favorite smells. <laughs> Come on,
All right, while I wait for these to dry, I'm gonna go get my workout done. I always start with dynamic stretches and they look rather ridiculous, so I thought I would keep them in here because they're funny. Okay, that's about as bright as I can get it on here. I did get new lights for the basement, so that should be coming in the next few videos. Once you've had a few serious injuries like I have, learn to appreciate and just enjoy the warm-up process. I'm sort of gauging how my knee feels here. I have arthritis in that knee doesn't feel great, so I end up doing mostly upper body today. I like to combine moves a lot of times, like this is a chest fly combined with an overhead tricep extension. Sometimes for a little extra burn, I add like a 10 pound weight to ab exercises just to make them a little more intense. My face will do the demonstrating here. When it burns, I usually know I have a few more reps in me. Lately, I've been doing about 10 to 15 reps, three sets per exercise till I get in better shape. Here's an example of one where I'm leaning against the wall to again, isolate my arms and make them work harder. And then those dumbbells were a tiny bit light. So to make them heavier, I start to hold one halfway, then curl the other and then reverse. That way it increases the intensity without me having to switch out the weights. <laughs> this is funny as I'm doing my workout. And then when the song hits, I start singing along and flailing around like crazy. I guess in my head this is what dancing looks like. Here's a way to make your free weight feel heavier and your arm work harder. See I'm actually leaning there, it's hard to see, but that's why my arm is on the treadmill and I'm like barely just leaning to the side, so my arm is doing all the work here. I decided to do just body weight with my legs. The knee with arthritis was crying later, so I did regret doing this. I'm still learning how far I can push my knee with arthritis. Now my cool down stretches. I'll admit I used to not do any cool down stretches. I always warmed up but I didn't used to cool down and now I do and I'm so glad I learned about that. I do static for cooling down, dynamic stretches to warm up and it helps so much with my recovery and just feeling better the next day after a workout. It also helps prevent injuries, and I don't know why it took me so long to learn that, but I love it now. It's kind of like my little zen time after the workout, just chill and kind of be in my head. I'm not really a yoga person, but some of these yoga poses are fire for stretching. This feels so good on your back. Okay, I'm excited to show you how those patches turned out. Let me show you what we're working with. Okay, this first one was a mess up, but I just thought I'd keep it in anyway. Cut that corner way too short. And apparently I need to eat lunch because my hands are shaking like crazy. All right, let's go on to the next. <laughs> 